So we just were walking by the camel exhibit and we noticed something happening with one of the camels. We see the guy in there. So we're at the Zoological in Geledalo, which is about 20 to 30 minutes driving from the central Geledalo. Okay, so we gotta go inside Hi. and show you how the Geledalo Zoo is. If you are new to our channel, I am Landy, with my husband Roddy and our son Louis. We moved to Geletalo, Mexico in 2021. Our channel is about a family living abroad and how to achieve financial freedom through real estate. So we're here in front of the uh, ape exhibit and they're just having their breakfast. Last time we came they were a little bit more upset because we got it before they were eating and they were throwing things at us, <laughs> a little upset. But now they got their vegetables, they got this one right behind me is eating some avocado. Uh, you know, they kind of gave them a good variety, broccoli, all that good stuff. And uh, we're going to get into the main part of the zoo, see some other monkeys and uh, see some of the wild big cats. I know Louis likes that. And so let's check it out. So we're kind of walking through the main path here. We got zebras and some other wild animals. Obviously the wild animals. <laughs> zebras and wildebeest, uh, kind of a little pasture land behind us. We got some camels coming up on the right. And as you kind of notice, Louis is kind of enchanted by all the animals. Keeps pointing here and pointing there. Uh, he, we've been here a few times, but every time we come, he always enjoys it. Oh, gotta watch his head. <laughs> so, uh, it's a nice cool day today, so we're really enjoying it. Watch it! Watch your head! Whoop! Whoop! And it's a good workout for me, too, carrying Louie on my shoulders. Watch <laughs> it! Let's see, look at the camel! So, we just were walking by the camel exhibit and we noticed something happening with one of the camels. We see the guy in there, and I was just thinking he was something was going on, if he was feeding him. But if you look a little carefully, I think that camel's having a baby right now. It's in labor. Takes some time. Hey, we're already out though. See the hard parts right there. We already have to head out. I think we helped pull it out. Oh, wow, my mom. Almost out. Oh, that's something new. Baby. 
Normally they also have one baby at a time. Yeah. Yeah. Mama, push, mama, push, push, mama, 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 All right, so we're here in front of the Big Cats exhibit. We have some uh, lions and tigers right behind me. You know, for the most part, you know, the zoo is a little bit older and, you know, that's kind of to be expected. And some of the first areas are kind of big and a animals have some space to kind of go around. Now, it does seem in these cages, they do seem a little bit smaller for the size of the cats, which is a little bit sad. Uh, like in a tiger cage behind me, there's two out and there's actually two in another smaller cage. Uh, so it's four tigers what? in a small space that two, they have to alternate three, between. Yeah. Four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it it's would be nice to see a little bit more space for these animals. Uh, but again, you know, for, to come and see them up close, how close we are, that is kind of neat. <laughs> Four tigers. Now it's our snack time. This is cool. They have a little snack shop here, right in the zoo by the animals. And uh, I just ordered the three little gorditas with grounded meat and the cactus and some leather cheese. It surprised me. It's a little fried gordita. I love fried gorditas. And they give me the chili. Rod just ordered the tortas with ham and cheese right? and a little snack with and a little snack we took from home oh I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry oh, it's okay oh, no. oh I'm so sorry it's okay that's dirty Momo Louis it's okay it's okay I'm sorry I'm gonna drink so I have a little snack and the good thing is they do have a good choice. They sell hamburger, fries, gordita, todas, and and not enchilada, quesadilla, <laughs> etc. And uh, the price is pretty good. Uh, like this one cost 50 peso and this is 60 peso. This is 20 peso. So $1, 2.5 and $3. I mean, it's not bad for eating in the zoo. Porcupine. What do you see here? Jaguar. Mama. Jaguar. How many jaguar, Mama? One, two, three, two. Eight goats, and all your, uh, Goats. Oh yeah. Goats over there. Yeah. Goats in the back. Wow. 
Now, one of the things with uh, zoos, especially in other countries outside the U.S. or Western countries, is you got to be careful in some spots. Like if you notice behind me this exhibit, it looks pretty good. There's a nice cage here or a fence to kind of keep all the kids from falling. But if you go a little bit further, then it has a big opening right here. Very easy for if you have a young one to just kind of climb through and take a little tumble. So just be careful. There's a lot of spots like this in this zoo and other zoos here in Mexico. So just once again, be careful. So we just literally finished walking around the whole zoo and we sit down, look at the zebras. It's very chill. The yeah. weather is very cool today. It's very quiet, very cool. <laughs> <laughs>
So that was our fun day at the zoo. I know Louie had a good time. He's not quite ready to go, but uh, we've seen everything. We played on the playground. Yeah, not the, it's not the biggest zoo, but you can definitely spend a good couple hours. We were here pretty much two and a half hours and had a good time. Saw some neat animals, saw a baby camel being born. So uh, overall, I gave it a good experience. We'll see you next time. Hey, shark! Shark! Oh no!